All right, well, our next guest is embarking on a very Aussie quest, finding the best bacon and egg roll. Not easy mm -hmm. to take us through this very important journey. Bacon and egg connoisseur Colin Phelan joins us now from Huskisson on the New South Wales <laughs> South Coast. He's feeling the bacon and egg sandwiches. Yeah. Colin, good morning to you. So lay it all out for us, Carl, big guy. Sarah, good morning. What makes the perfect bacon and egg roll? Look, it's all up to your take. Look, in my research, my, my seriously scientific research, uh, I leave it up to you because it's, it's, it's whether it's value. Sometimes you feel like a really deluxe one for, 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 that's more expensive, or you might feel like you know, if you're very hungry and you'll take two of the cheaper ones. There are several components that really make it, uh, a, a good bacon and egg roll but a lot of it's up to taste. I mean, Colin, I like to think of myself as a connoisseur of a good bacon and egg roll because I don't think I've walked past a bacon and egg roll and not eaten it, yeah. I have to say. So you've got to have the good bread, you've got to get the gooey egg, and you've got to have the crispy bacon. No gooey. And, no, you've got, to, you've got to let it ooze all over That's you. That's awful. And you've got to have the barbecue sauce, am I right? There's three components, I think, OK? Mm. One, if in doubt, add bacon. The, se the sentence, oh, yes. this was great, but there was too much bacon, has never been no. uttered in the history of civilization. True. So if in doubt, add bacon. <laughs> Two, don't add anything green, OK? Resist yes. the temptation. Agree. Green is what the chicken and the pig eat. Green <laughs> salad isn't food. Salad is just an indication that there's food in the vicinity. <laughs> yeah. So don't add anything green to it's your a bacon and roll, OK? <laughs> And thirdly, exactly, mm. Carl, and thirdly, you have to have it dripping. If you, if you have a bacon and egg roll and you haven't licked some of it off your fingers, mm -hmm. then you've had a dud bacon and egg roll. Yep. I'm I with you, Colin. I don't know. I don't like anything oozing out of... Um, anyway, uh, where, where have you, where have you found the most delicious ones in your detailed guide? Well, I've... I've start, I, I started here in Huskisson. There's nine extremely good outlets here. Oh, what I do is one. I order the bacon and egg roll. I ask them. I, I'm not a crispy person. I'm a light person. Aww. And the other question is, is, is it egg on top or bacon on top? Again, this is something very... Egg on top. You know, ..that needs to be examined seriously. You're an egg on top person? Yeah. Right? Some people are bacon on top people. OK. And then when it's served, I will take the bacon and egg. OK. I'll open it. And then I will put it all on top of my kitchen scales and oh. I'll weigh the contents in grams. What? That's very right. scientific, <laughs> Colin. Right, there could, there could be a Nobel Prize in this. We're not too sure just okay. yet, OK? And then you divide the weight of grams by the amount of money you pay and you get a value index for that. And it might be a high on the index or it might be low on the index. But this one here, I'm at, I'm, I'm at Portside, which is a fantastic cafe right on the water at Huskisson. And they do, this is their bacon egg roll and it's an absolute beauty. And as you can see, it's egg on top the way I like it. Mm -hmm. ba uh, barbecue yep. sauce as well and, um, and, a, and a nice fresh bun. So. Yep. This, at the start of the day, you can't go wrong after a day like a start no, of a day like this. You see, I'm a sucker. I'm an absolute sucker on a Saturday morning for a bacon and egg McMuffin oh. with a hash brown whacked right in the middle of it. Is there anything wrong with me? Yes, there's a lot wrong with you, Carl. There's you know, bearing in uh, mind the response of the show. <laughs> Sarah, I don't think there's I could have put it better you, than the your burger. comment then. <laughs> no. Right. Look, I, I, I think the fresh ones, the major chains are fine, but the fresh ones from your local cafe, bakery, deli, or like that, you can't beat those because there's been care put right. into them. There's stuff that you can learn from bacon and egg rolls. Yeah. If you're talking to your crew about the difference, for example, between, and you're trying to exhort them to better efforts, yeah. you need look no further than a bacon and egg roll. You know, if you look at the egg, Fair this is on. dedication. The, egg, the, right, the truck right, that gets right. up and lays the egg each morning <laughs> is dedicated, but right. the pig is totally committed. Yeah, <laughs> yeah absolutely. <laughs> Colin, I've already spotted in the area mate. the egg. Very good, mate. Thank you so much, big fella. Um, you've, you've laid it all out for us. It's a beautiful oh. thing. I'm staying with Maccas. Here you go, says. Tuck yeah, I'll eat your hash brown. Yeah. All right, are we ready? Yeah, go on. Just, just Ooh, weigh into yeah. it. Wait, Wrap your I laughing gear around it, says. Commit. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Poor little babe, the pig, eh? Oh, oh. Delicious. Don't eat me, please, Sarah. Too late. <laughs> hey there, Today fans. Sarah and...
What's my name again? Oh my God. Carl. <laughs> hey, thanks for watching our YouTube <laughs> channel, though. Subscribe now for more news, special reports, and amazing Aussie stories. And Carl misbehaving, Whoa, of course. That never happens. Always happens. What's she talking about?